right now we are going to the makerspace where we did the my robot this is makerspace and this is my team my name is nebula abbas I am a year 12 student and I'm part of the robotics team of my school. <laughs> my robot was deliberated on by us during the lockdown. When we realized that the number of health workers that got infected was rising, we decided to find a solution for them. My robot is a smart non-humanoid robot that was created for the sole purpose of reducing the amount of times that a doctor has to go into the isolation ward by performing some of the activities that do not require the physical presence of the doctor. Morning, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm feeling fine. There is a place you put your hand to take your temperature. Let's know what the temperature is saying. 35.9. OK, your temperature is fine. So check. Inside the compartment, you see your normal drug intake. That yellow one. Okay. During the lockdown, we had virtual meetings to discuss the robot. Then our coaches helped us merge together our designs. We coaches harmonized the brilliant ideas they shared and we started looking for hardware resources for them. It was a bit difficult for us coaches because it was a total lockdown. They couldn't come out, we couldn't go out either. We built a robot from stuff in this classroom, but the ones that we couldn't find here, our coaches helped us to buy them. My name is Yasmin Ali, and what I did on my robot was to give ideas on constructing the artificial intelligence. The role I played here was to give ideas. I helped in the programming. I helped in designing of the robot. I took part in the engineering aspect of my robot. I did the wiring and ensured that everything was fixed to the robot. Two months after the lockdown was actually eased, National Information Technology Development Agency called us to come and pitch physically at their headquarters and they really love it and um, the second exhibition was at Cairo Egyptian Hospital and so it was a real life demonstration at the hospital and we actually wowed the doctor and he said he wants a copy of this when we are done If we can build a robot from stuff in this classroom, I'm pretty sure anything you find at home, you can use it to create something great and amazing. Like my coaches always tell us, if you can think it, you can make it. <laughs>